praise you, Lord, with your name. You know what, like you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, Father, God, King of King, Hallelujah. Master of the Lord, what do you want to say, my King? You need to write something here. My King, yeah. Thou is a mentee, Thou is a mentee, Thou is a mentee, Thou is a mentee,
we give you praise, Jesus, we give you praise, we give you praise. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall know more. He makes me to lie down in great passion. He led me beside the still water. Then he restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, in the name of Jesus. Even though I walk in the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil in the name of Jesus. Maratha, you I will be your Lord and your stand and comfort me. You will prepare the table for me in the presence of my enemies. They melt my hair with oil in my cup, but for sure the human enemies shall follow me. All days of my life I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 59, Master, deliver, deliver me from my enemies, oh my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk in And save me from blood testimony in the name of Jesus. Deliver all from our enemies, oh our God. Protect us from those who rise up against us. Deliver all from those who walk in and save us from blood testimony in the name of Jesus. No no more, so we're here by here go to ya. Sam Let one Masanida Radio because we blow in the shelter of the most high and high on the shadow of mighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, for you will deliver me from the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Raka Pahirbo Zoroba Shiro Yeah, Mini Masaribo Hokiba Radia. My formidable persons, my government is opinion, and under your wind I will find refuge. Your faithfulness is shield and buckler. My corporea will not fear. You must take it by the throws of the man on the hour that fly by day. My the person that stop in darkness. My the master is destruction that was that Monday. In the name of the will not fear. A thousand folk come highway. No event in my sight. 10,000 at my right time, but they will not come near me. I will only look my eyes and see the compass of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Because I have made the Lord my dwelling place, the most high is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall me. No plague will come near my tent. For the Lord commanded his angel concerning me to carry me in all my way. In the hand will bear me up. Let's extract my food within the stone. I will tread on the lion and the adder. In the young lion, I will mass on the and the second I shall tread for all my food. In the name of because I will be loved fast to, I hope fast to God in love. In the name of Jesus, mass on the mass of the The Lord will live on The Lord protect us. The Lord will mass on the because we know the name of the Lord, the strong mighty God that delivers. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will call upon the name of the Lord and answer us. In the name of Jesus, answer me. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will be with me in trouble. He will rescue me and honor me. The Lord will satisfy me and show you the salvation. I will show you also, Lord, He will rescue us. In the name of Jesus, we deliver us in the name of Jesus. Man, son, the man, 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 Jesus. Mm, Psalm 144. 
Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trained my hand for war and my finger for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my liver, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues people under me. My co oh Lord, what is the way that you regard him? My the son of man, I to think of him. Man, like a great deal, like a person shall be. Bow your hands, O Lord, and come down. Toward the mouth of the small flat for the lightning. So, my carrier boy is cut at them. My son has sent out to Aaron, and who has spread out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from many waters, from the hand of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies in the name of Jesus. My cocoa, oh, and who moves right hand, right hand of falsehood. I will see a new song in the name of Jesus. Move to you, oh God, upon a ten string heart. I will pray to you who give victory to kings. Ratna, my son, in my Ratna, who rescued the good Israel from the good sword. Rescue me, daddy, deliver me. Daddy, run and run from the head of the foreigners whose mouth speaks lies and strikes and runs and runs and falls to them. Ma ka pa yi ba ra ni dia, ni ni ma sa de ro 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 yi ba dia. Ah, ni ka ma son ni dia yut be na plant full grown in the name of Jesus. Our daughters like a canopy like copper is to be stored up in palace. Me our daughters be full, providing all kinds of produce. Me our sheep be four thousands and ten thousand are full. My radia, may our cattle be heavy with you and suffer no mishap or failure and glory. May there be no cry of distress in our street. Blessed are the people whose service is full. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus, my son of the Lord, Raka Pai the Lord, my son of the Lord. How is the name? He is the name. How is the name? He is the name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, this morning. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This morning, we're going to go straight to the name of Jesus. Mazame, Masa, the Lord, the Lord. Mara kaire re 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 boshu kore re ra na masa de bozo ro e boshu kia me ni masa kapai re bozo re re bozo dia me ni masa kai re bozo ro bo re boshu dia ma kapai re bozo re in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus zige ba kapai re bozo dia in the name of Jesus masa the book of Ecclesiastes chapter seven after Timothy first Thessalonians chapter two in the name of Jesus go through those scriptures this morning. God bless your children, O Lord Jesus. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the name of Jesus. Ma kopo irvaza irvastiya. Nini ma sani irvaza dia. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ra ga ba zani ma sani irvaza dia. Nini ma sani irvaza irvaza dia. Zaki ma kopo irvaza irvaza dia. Nini ma sani irvaza irvaza dia. Nini ma sani irvaza irvaza dia. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Chapter seven. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for this is the end of all mankind, and the living will lay it to heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness of face the heart is made glad. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better for a man to hear the rebuke of the wise than to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fools. This also is vanity. Surely oppression drives the wise into madness, and a bribe corrupts the heart. Better is the end of a thing than its beginning, 
and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Hmm. Be not quick in your spirit to become angry, for anger lodges in the heart of fools. Hmm. Say not, why were the former days better than these? For it is not from wisdom that you ask this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, an advantage to those who see the sun. For the protection of wisdom is like the protection of money, hmm. and the advantage of knowledge is that wisdom preserves the life of him who has it. Hmm. Consider the work of God. Who can make straight what he has made crooked? In the day of prosperity, be joyful, and in the day of adversity, consider, God has made the one as well as the other, so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. In my vain life, I have seen everything. There is a righteous man who perishes in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man who prolongs his life in his evil doing. Be not overly righteous, and do not make yourself too wise. Why should you destroy yourself? Be not overly wicked, neither be a fool. Why should you die before your time? It is good that you should take hold of this, and from that withhold not your hand, for the one who fears God shall come out from both of them. Amen. Wisdom gives strength to the wise man more than ten rulers who are in a city. Surely there is not a righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. Do not take to heart all the things that people say, lest you hear your servant cursing you. Your heart knows that many times you yourself have cursed others. All this I have tested by wisdom. I said, I will be wise. But it was far from me. That which has been is far off and deep, very deep. Who can find it out? I turned my heart to know and to search out and to seek wisdom and the scheme of things and to know the wickedness of folly and the foolishness that is madness. And I find something more bitter than death. The woman whose heart is snares and nets, and whose hands are fetters. He who pleases God escapes her, but the sinner is taken by her. Behold, this is what I found, says the preacher, while adding one thing to another to find the scheme of things, which my soul has sought repeatedly, but I have not found. One man among a thousand I found, but a woman among all these I have not found. See, this alone I found, that God made man upright, but they have sought out many schemes. May God deliver all these quite serious words of wisdom to us this morning. And I pray that we heed to this very word of wisdom and save ourselves and save ourselves and save ourselves from dangers. Because this world is full of everything we need in this, in this life. It's already the word of God. But unfortunately, Satan make us so lazy. We don't read the word of God. Make us, you know, just keep us busy doing actually practically nothing. Because he wants us to destroy. Because what the main eventual fight that the enemy is having against humanity is is the truth for us not to accept the truth, for us not to know the truth. Because you know that the truth brings freedom. For you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. There is power of freedom in truth. There is the power of riches and the wealth, wealth and everything we need is in the truth. You said the Lord has been talking to us about the way we treat our parents. Which is one of the major areas in our life today that this whole world is the way we, everything is going down. You see, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You see, the disobedience did not start today. Because, you know, Adam and Eve, their, their father, their biological father and mother is, was God. Because he, he was one that made them. They came out from his own, from God. And they disobeyed God. And that disobedience has continued in our generation. Because disobeying our parents, we find it very difficult to humble ourselves. You know, even our parents who have seen the four walls of education, we tell them even when we are, I can remember when we are little, because they will give us the they, they, they taught us some 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 grammar in school. We come, we start speaking the grammar, and treating our parents as if they did not know anything. They don't even have not been in school before, but they have tested it. Yes, they are old. They have gray hair, hair. and their hand is shaking. Their legs are shaking. They did not, they've been through that place that we think, oh, we totally 
have forgotten that there's a, was a time in our life that we don't have any money, we don't have anything. We still solely rely on them for every big thing that we need in life. Because God has blessed you now. Because this, this life now is not, it's not, it's not because life is this way. Today, today you are, I mean, today you are born a child. And, and and as you are going, you totally depend on your on um, I mean uh, of your, uh, on your parents. A time will come very soon that your parents will totally depend on you because they are so old they cannot work again. Even if they have some money saved somewhere, they still depend on you to go and get those money. So they still depend on you to help them to buy things or to do. They totally depend on you. Without you, their money is useless. Everything they have is useless without your help. So they don't have the money, they depend on including money. But that should not make up because, you know, we are beginning to mistreat them and, 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 and treat them, you know, uh, uh, without respect, without anything. You know, the Lord expects us to see them as disabled. They don't have mind, they don't have power, they don't have, they to rely on us. And we should always for, for remember that there was a time we are totally, and therefore we should still respect and give them the kind of respect you used to give them before. Even though some of them probably start having some dementia and all those, so that did not give us to slap them or to beat them or to insult them or to talk down on them. In those days, if you do, if you, in those days, if you, if one does that, the person will face immediate, you know, the firing squad. We stone, we stone the person to death. But today is totally to the extent, you know, the young ones, their parents, their parents are still young. They will beat them, lock them outside their house. When the parents see their children coming, the parents will be, will be shaking. They cannot talk in the presence of their parents. Because their children will shut them down. Shut up, they are you fool. Imagine calling your parents fool. May God deliver us. And I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. Because of that, you know, here yeah, the Lord is saying that we should be very careful because there's a lot of, you know, when we respect them, there's a lot of wisdom, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of help they have in them. Because what they we have born, we are going to, they have passed through the, those things before. Even though they seem that they may not have passed through them, but in the process of life, there's a lot of, no situation that I have encountered that the Lord has made them to encounter and feed them with the, the appropriate knowledge that we need from them to become some or to deliver off from one issue or the other. The one we listen to them will be able to over, over, overcome those issues because God has made it so. Because they say, Our blessing, our blessing is in Him, our blessing is in Him. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. No matter whatever the manipulation and the lies of the enemy against our life, against our, in the name of God, we declare, declare, we are delivered, we are delivered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus as they, uh, uh, you know, teach us and help us, ask us to be careful with, uh, with strange women, with strange things in our life that will last in, in the name of God and save ourselves from, from different kind of issues. And I pray in the name of God, even after, after this very morning uh, uh, service, that we go back to that book of, uh, you know, Exodus chapter 7. Very wonderful instructions are there that are really made for, for us, for our daily use in the name of God. Now I'm going to uh, go straight down to the book of Timothy. Timothy chapter 1 verse, 1st uh, uh, Timothy chapter 2. Highway. The Bible says that people perish because of a lack of knowledge. And that knowledge, Satan does not want us to have it at all. He doesn't want us to smell it. And I pray the name of you, whoever barricaded, has barricaded us away from that knowledge. May the Lord help us, the name of Jesus, and help us to assess the willingness to assess this knowledge that is in His Word, in the name of Jesus, and the and the grace to understand and 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 be doers of this Word, in Jesus' name. First Timothy chapter two. Chapter two. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, 
who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. For this I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling, likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel, with modesty and self-control, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly attire, but with what is proper for women who profess godliness, with good works. Let a woman learn quietly with all submissiveness. I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman was deceived and became a transgressor. Yet she will be saved through childbearing, if they continue in faith and love and holiness with self-control. May God never ask the name of Jesus. This very scripture, a lot of people are kicking against it. And if you go to this scripture, as I keep saying, if you go to this very scripture, I want to respect it. That means it's not it's not it's not allowed in the in the in the in the in the, in the New Testament. It's not allowed for a woman to be a head or some women opening church themselves and be the head with her husband. It's not allowed. And if they have a father and the father give them the authority to do that, fine. If they have a husband and husband give them the authority to do that, fine. But it's not allowed. The one, the one that even you know make me to be so much ashamed of this world. A woman who is under probably twenty something years or thirty something years. A man who is over ninety years or eighty years will be will be calling her mother, my mother, my father, and and you ask the old man who is to kneel down and a young girl with every all the clothes, everything in her body tight, laying hand on old man. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. God knows the reason why He has made it so. It's better we obey. When we obey, it is better for us. But unfortunately, the spirit of the last days. With a lot of spirit that looks like the spirit of God, that is that is everywhere, we even give you confirmation. We, we, we will help you to prophesy, help you to be operating in different kind of, um, you know, a, a gifted. I mean, a, 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 the gift of the Holy Spirit, in order to deceive you further. You will think you are in the right place, whereas you don't know that you have already missed your way. That is why my Bible says that at the last day, there are many who say, "Oh God, I did this in your name, but you used me to do this. You used me to do that." I say, "I don't know you." Because you know the truth, you decided to follow lies. Even though you are in a path of lies, and you, because you are, you are confident, I will still use you. After using you, that doesn't mean that I'm happy with you. Enjoy the permissive will I'm under. I'm not in a perfect will. Because permissive will mean that God can use us, even though in our sin. He can still use us to do whatever we want to do. He can still use us in our disobedience. He will still use us. But at the end of it all, He will still be the one who will lose. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God help us. But if you have your husband by your side and he's given approval, no, no problem. No problem. Because you have authority over your head. If you don't have authority over your head or you have your father or your husband, around you, who will totally always around you to support you. Perfect. But if you don't have them, my brother and sister, mm, the scripture is there for you. You know the right thing to do. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Because a lot of things that look right, they are not actually right. At the end of and at the at the end of age, you you'll be surprised. You start asking yourself, all this function, all this power, all this anointing, all this going here and there and preaching and all those stuff. Where, where was they coming from? Where were they coming from? God, where do you deny me? It's not God denying you, it's you because you follow you, the lust of your heart, the love of the lust. And the competition is everywhere today. Man 
should be in the one in this event. If God have anointed the woman and the man recognize that is the author the, is the man to release the woman or not to release the woman to do it. That, that, that is the standard of the scripture. But unfortunately, a lot of these are upside down. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I know a lot of people may attack me about, about that. And that is not that is what the Bible just said this morning in first Timothy chapter two. And other scripture too that confirm that, especially the definition of this whole, you know, women not is is in the Old Testament. May God help us because there is no priest, even though Deborah was a leader, and you know they use that. But it, Paul repeated it again. That means that means the same God of Old Testament, the same God of New Testament. The more we obey, the more we obey, the better it is for us. Hallelujah. Now let's just quickly now go to the last uh, scripture. Ah, dear. To me, I may have a lot of questions about it. Asking God, God, why should this be? Ah, dear. Even in my heart, I'm not that kind of this. But what can you do? It's better. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You follow what is written than what you're feeling or your own interpretation or using some figures in the Bible to, to strengthen your argument. <laughs> to strengthen your challenge, challenging God for what He have said. May God help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, let's quickly now go now to the last scripture. Uh, Psalm 124. It said, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord God who was on our side, when people rose up against us, then, hallelujah, we would have been swallowed up alive. Then, when the anger was kindled against us. Then the flow would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging water. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who have not given us as a prey to the teeth of our enemies. And we have escaped like a bed from the snake of the fowler. The snake is broken because how we are. The snake is broken in the name of Jesus. Because we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Thank you, Lord, this morning for what you've done. We say glory, honor, majesty. Hallelujah. Be to your holy name, Lord Jesus. Father, as we go out this morning, Lord, go with us, Lord. Cover our spirits and body in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, you be with us, Lord Jesus. Deliver us from every evil, every evil, every evil being planned and plotted against our lives. Father, deliver us from them all in the name of Jesus. Mark, I know what form from against us this morning shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against us in judgment. Pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, they are condemned. In the name of Jesus. Protect us, Lord Jesus, from every evil, Lord Jesus. Protect us, Lord Jesus, from the wickedness of the wicked. Protect us, Lord Jesus. Let your mercy, Lord, be upon us, O Lord. And after all, your name alone is going to be glorified for what you've done. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We say, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord protect you, may the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Man of God, uh, Pastor Caleb, God bless you for joining us this morning. I will pray in the name of Jesus and the Lord will be with you and protect you from every danger. In the name of Jesus, he will set you above your equal in the name of Jesus. Mysteriously, he will guide you and deliver you from whatever issue in, that you are facing. Or that you're about to face in your life, you come out victorious in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And our brother is a um, question. Uh, I didn't do God bless you too. And I pray that Lord will perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. Set you above your equal in the name of Jesus. And I pray that when the trumpet shall sound, we all will be among those who will be hanging uh, with the Lord. In the name of Jesus, as it and like it or not, we secure that place, we secure that position, we secure my son and that ticket to heaven. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I will dedicate it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Marco, thank you, Lord Jesus. As we go out, we go out and come back safely without any problem. We count our blessings and name them one by one today. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Remember, this period until the first week of uh, next month, next, next month, 
we always think about the reflect about honoring our parents there may be in a way some people may be, may, may be physically abusive to their parents some of us you know when we don't you know job bible said that we uh, the lord said that uh, 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 they confess me in law, law, law from their mouth, but in their heart is totally despise me. And yeah, sometimes we act the same way to our parents. We are afraid of them because of the thing we can get from them. But in our heart, we despise them. We know what to talk, you know, at back against them. Those things still stand. It's part of the disrespectfulness that we suppose not to. And now we have to ask the Lord. We have to reflect on those things and ask the Lord, please forgive us and cleanse us. Because the Bible says that when we obey them, it shall be well with us and we will bless us with good health, long life. With long life. Good health and long life and the God's blessings. It's not only when we are, you know, we, 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 may, we may even be rich and have money to be you know, spending it on everything around you, but there's a, a problem in your life that God have allowed because of what because of that very issue that's how we try to fool us because of our prosperity what the Lord told us that in the last night was you know so that God will see allow you to have money and all those stuff because of the, the because of the quality because of the because of the because of the, the what have invested in you so that the, he can use you to help others through you a lot of people can be rich and and, and have that doesn't mean that that your your hostility and your disrespectfulness to your parents you know you know is good even in that prosperity in that in that in that i mean now your prosperity you discover that there's a problem in your life that you sound wondering what would this problem leave me how can i come out from this problem there's that peace that that will be taken away from you but total peace and total wholeness comes when we totally obey our presence with everything in our heart. It's very, very important, my brother. Let's try to make sure that we make peace with our parents. And always when we are with them, to, for, before we live with them, either on the phone or anyhow, for them to always release blessing. Release blessing on us. It's very, 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 very important. Very, very important. If you look at the children of Israel, anytime they are with, uh, happy with God, God always bless them. I will bless you, I will do this, I will do that, I will do that, I will do that. So that we can deliver ourselves because, you know, this world is really going, 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 going seriously away from, 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 from where it's supposed to be because of what? Disobedience. And I pray in the name of you, the Lord, open our eyes. And some of those issues that we are suffering that we don't really know, you don't realize that that is the cause is the, our relationship with our parents that the lord will deliver us in the name of jesus and uh, as the lord is revealing those things from to us we begin to change so that in the, in the nearest future as you start having your own children too you know your children will be respectful your children you know your the, the trouble the children you know brings that kills their parents your own life is so it's totally different in the name of jesus and then I pray God will give us wisdom and deliver us. And anything that you are doing wrong against our parents, the Lord will reveal to us and deliver us. Because I believe the Lord wants to bless us this season. God bless all of you and have a very wonderful day. I pray you will go and come by. The light of God will shine on your path in the name of Jesus. And uh, and will be a testimony wherever you go. In Jesus, have a very wonderful day. God bless you all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.